Yo, what is good, everybody? You are back tuned into the underground. My name is Mbaya, and I go by the doctor. Oh. What I have for you today is a review for the new Gamma Plus trimmer this is the boosted and i've been actually waiting for this for some time now i haven't tried it of course i'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and see what this blade is all about come on up usually i do an asmr for this stuff but i'm super excited to go ahead and uh, just get this thing going slide that off perfect love all that sound I think this comes with the one blade and all that good stuff, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull everything out, plug this in, because I wanna go ahead and try this out right away, like immediately. I don't wanna have to wait. I'm probably gonna change the face plate actually, or the lid, I'm gonna change the lid to this gold one. I wanna be able to match it up with the boosted clipper. The boosted clipper for those of you who don't know about this i will get into this one in a whole nother video so stay tuned go ahead and set that over there let that charge Plug this in in a moment. and with this zero gap joint this is the universal blade setter this thing is amazing if you haven't tried it yet so i got a second one I'll put it right next to my other one that i have in here um, just some little cleaner stuff you know you got a manual you have a USB-C charger so this is USB-C compatible too somewhere on the back you can charge this with the USB-C on the back but I'm gonna get into all of that in a second I just want to set this up a little fast read off of the box and all that good stuff in get this thing charged up that motor did sound really good it's a torque motor but like i said in a moment just give me a second to talk to y'all about what this thing is made out of so i got this thing charging I don't know how much power is really in it. So I'm gonna make sure that I get as much as possible as far as the juice. But um, yeah, this thing's good. Anyways. Feels good. I don't believe I really need to adjust anything. This seems like it's ready and good to go out of the box. I do have a client that will be here shortly that I'm going to try this out on, so I'm gonna let that be. And what I wanna do is try out this blade set first. And I'm gonna go ahead and read off of the box as far as the specs and what this thing is all about. So this is a super torque 800 RPM rotary motor. You have a fully adjustable blade this is something that can be easily zero gap, of course, from you know, po uh, 0.8 to zero millimeters. And the blade set that comes on here is the Black Diamond X Pro Wide Fixed Blade and the one DLC deep tooth cutting blade for crunchiest, smoothest cuts without pulling or snagging. That is very important. I love that part. And this blade seems like it's gonna be perfect and i love the size of this thing this is perfect in my hand it's a lot smaller than what i expected it to be i knew it was going to be small but this is what has me really hyped for this and if i compare this to the most recent trimmer that i got in which has been working perfect for me is the saber precision and if you put these side by side the boosted is shorter than the precision, it's a little bit longer. So this, man, look, this is giving like what the hitter vibes got going on as far as size and yeah, they did that. I don't know if y'all see it. 
So just for those of you who are wondering, this blade set is in black, of course, the black diamond, but it's the same as this gold wide joint on the hitter here that I have fixed on here. So very similar, this does come with a one cutter. I don't know how different this will cut, but I can already tell this is gonna be a beast and my go-to. I've been waiting on this thing to drop, y'all. Just digressing back, I'm gonna go ahead and finish reading the specs on this box. So you have a universal blade setter, features dual ends, one for zero gap, and the other for factory standard of 0.3 millimeters. So for those of you who don't know, this blade setter is a must have. You gotta have the chance or opportunity to try this out because this thing works amazing. And those are the two different, you know, it's a softer zero gapper situation on this side. And if I'm not mistaken, these did come with the Gamma Plus Cyborg and looks a little different from the Cyborg version. This is the Cyborg version on the right side. This is the one that came with the Gamma Boosted. So just so you can tell the difference. Zero gap aggressive, zero gap, you know, just a little difference with the wording, the font size, all that good stuff, you know. But anyway, just thought I'll point that out for y'all who are curious. I'm gonna go ahead and um, keep on reading these specs, y'all. So you have additional housings included for three different color mod options and product customization accessories with different thumb grip positions for superior control. And you have rechargeable LED battery with three LED lights indicating different battery levels. Runtime 120 minutes. And you have anti-slip docking station with LED light and innovative space saving design charging time 120 minutes and you have the cleaning kit that is included of course in this thing but that's pretty much it for the specs on this thing and i don't want to waste too much time i'm going to go ahead and get this thing charged up but what i'm going to do first is switch up my lid while i'm letting this thing charge and as i wait for my first Client for the day that I'm going to get to try this on. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this, get this lid off. Oh, okay, that's kind of unique. Haven't seen that before on a trimmer. Right, so there's some screws on the back, and you got some screws on the front lid. It's interesting. I've never seen that before. You got two on the front, two on the back. Those. All right, got this off. Switch it to the gold. Good, looks good, sounds good, not that loud, which is great. Finally, what we all have been waiting for, including myself, let's see what this thing's made out of. So as I go ahead and start up this hairline, as you can see who was in the chair is one of my regulars. Maybe some of you have watched my videos in the past and have seen him in some of my videos, but Usually I would prefer when trying out a trimmer for the first time to use it on someone that has more coarse hair, a more tighter curl. 
In this case, he has straight hair, but that doesn't really matter. It's no big deal. You know why? Because regardless to what the hair texture is, it's going to always be a challenge, no matter what anybody tells you or however way you think. Because yes, there is some haircuts or lines that are easier performed on some people depending on their texture. But just because someone has straight hair does not mean the tool is absolutely going to hit and automatically work wonders. No, I'm here to tell you that that statement of so-called good hair, straight hair, always works out best when it comes to lineups is a false narrative. It is false information. And this may come off true because of most people's experience, but it's always going to be a challenge. That barber, that particular stylist that is working with that texture is going to always go through a challenge no matter what. And I'm here to tell you this, that stop falling for that take each haircut seriously no matter how easy it may come off or appear to be take it seriously because the more you start to flaunt the fact that i'm really good and could cut any kind of hair really quickly and fast you're going to start messing up and that's where you start losing clients now this being my first time using this trimmer i took my precious time and this is why i'm going to make sure that i play it in real time for you all to see what I am doing and I always preach about the fact that trimmer blades should never be placed completely flat on anyone's skin you hear me make sure you're using those corners and this is why we have to make sure that blades are perfectly balanced and if you remember during the review I made sure that this blade was perfectly balanced on my forearm making sure that nothing as far as the corners about these blades was sharper compared to the other when you go from left to the right. So this blade is definitely official. I took my time because there's a matter of getting used to this blade. It is like no other blade that I've tried before when it comes to Gamma Plus or Stylecraft. This blade is very unique in my opinion, unless this is just me being naive to the fact that this is something that I've used before and forgot. But it gave me vibes that the ES4 blade gives off. If you don't know what the ES4 blade is, look into Eversense. Eversense has a blade called the ES4 blade and the more recent release for 2024 is the ES5 blade but the ES5 blade is more on the aggressive side versus the ES4 is more softer but look into that do some homework y'all all I'm saying is and I'm not trying to throw you off by saying that this is that blade it's just you know like if you know about the Ultima blade this is similar with the Ultima blade it's a soft cut, but very precise and sharp. So as you can see when I'm going around the C cup, it's very precise, you know, not too many passes, you know, taking my time about it and making sure that everything's in there. Symmetrical, of course, he does like his sideburns. I have tried plenty of times to talk him out of these sideburns, and I'm sure some of you are definitely cringing to the fact that he is letting me do this to him. He would be great with a blowout type taper you know more on the wider side of things when it comes to that sideburn but this is what he prefers he likes his sideburns and this is what i'm going to do for him so client's preference always wins at the end of the day anyway just digressing back this blade is definitely nice i didn't have to set it up adjust it or anything like that this is just straight out of the box hitting it's definitely doing its job i will put a video out following up after this one so you can all see me use this thing on different textures because it definitely did deliver this thing is official and i may adjust it but i am planning on getting another one of these at first i was really hoping that i would have got my hands on the cyborg but the Cyborg has not released yet unless they did do a drop, which I'm not really sure. I have to look into that. And um, I'm really into this one more than the Cyborg for some reason. I think it's because of the size. Now the Cyborg is a beast. I really do want another Cyborg, but I want another Boosted because this Boosted is everything. And I'm telling y'all right now, y'all need to get y'all one. 
Use discount code J Exquisite. This thing is definitely worth it. I guarantee you that you will not be disappointed. Do not sleep on this thing. A lot of the Gamma 2s are so efficient that you should not be passing out on these recommendations that me or any other YouTuber that you're looking at is giving advice on. You need to listen. And at the end of the day, it's a matter of finding your style too. Sometimes you gotta go out there and just take a leap of faith, you know, and just purchase something and try it out. But I really do want another one of these probably way more than I want a cyborg. The cyborg is amazing, but this right here is definitely the one. I probably like this better than the Saber. And when I say the Saber, I'm talking about the OG Saber, which is not too far from the Precision, but I think I like my Precision better because of the blade set that comes on it. That Precision blade set is everything. And just digressing back to this boosted, there is no trauma on the skin at all. Like there's no welting. If you see what I'm talking about, look at his skin. There's no red. I just touched up his mustache. There's no red, nothing irritated about it. And that is exactly what we are all looking for when it comes to these blades that come equipped on these trimmers. We're purchasing these things at very high prices. And if you're going to be purchasing something, when you use it, you should not be inflicting any pain whatsoever bruising on your client. So when I say trauma is non-existent at all with these, I mean that. Like, I haven't had anybody leave red, be irritated. I've used them on myself, and these things are official, y'all. Like, I'm loving them. Definitely got a little bump up above the cyborg for me. And I say that because this thing is given, you know, instinct as far as the shape of it, the size of it is definitely giving you hitter, but it's a box shaped tool. And that right there, I am completely sold on. That is awesome. Like you can't beat that. So I hope you all are seeing this quality that this thing is producing and are sold on it because this following video will definitely seal the deal for y'all. And if you're looking for something that's more lightweight, not heavy, compact, ergonomically, this thing is winning. There is no way that I'm going to just hype up this thing for no reason because if you have tried the Cyborg and you don't like the Cyborg, for example, because it is a little bit heavier, but for me, it is actually perfectly fine as it is. It is my favorite out of all the trimmers that I've dropped, but when it comes to the hitter and what the hitter does for me, when I talk about the hitter, everybody knows that watches my videos. I love those trimmers, but when it comes to this, boosted it's literally taken everything that i appreciate and love out of all the gamma trimmers as well as the stylecraft trimmers and putting them all in one that's unheard of this is exactly the same thing that they did for the clipper which i did use to cut his hair i wish i would have showed that process but i'm going to be getting into more videos of me using the boosted trimmer as well as the boosted clipper. Just the same way that I've been doing with the cyborg trimmer and clipper combo, I'm going to do the same with the boosted trimmer and clipper combo. There will be a shaver that should be dropping really soon from Gamma Plus. So for those of you who are interested in seeing that in the future, I have done a video where I did do like the rebel trimmer shaver as well as the clipper in a haircut video, which worked out very awesome. I know a lot of you have invested into the Rebel package, and I highly recommend that you do the same for the combo with the boosted clipper and the trimmer as well. As for Gamma Plus, I really can't wait for y'all to drop the boosted shaver. Anyway, y'all stay tuned for the next following video, it will really be helpful.